We as human beings are emotional by nature. Although it is one of our strengths, however, in investing or trading, it works against us. Stock market's nature is to move up and down, and when it moves, this triggers an emotional response from an investor or trader. And most of the times, because of this emotional trigger, many of the investors are not able to be successful in stock investment and burns one's hard-earned money. This is the reason why Benjamin Graham, a pioneer of his time and the author of bestseller The Intelligent Investor, emphasizes on having a system in place in his book. In this video, I will discuss with you the system that Graham has advised to a defensive investor. So Joe is an average guy working full time and have no formal education of investment or finance. But Joe understands that he has to invest some of his money to not only improve his financial situation, but also to secure his retirement and future family needs. He has also accepted that he is emotional and stock market movements affects his buy and sell behavior. And as many people out there, including me, he tends to buy when market is at its peak and sell when market is at its bottom. As Joe has accepted these flaws, not really flaws, but characteristics of his, he has decided to apply the system Graham has advised in his book for someone like him. The system is very simple and straightforward. But before we check the system, let's first look at the power of dollar cost average. I think most of us know what dollar cost average means. It is buying a stock with fixed amount of money at fixed interval consistently for a period of time. So for example, buying $500 worth of S&P 500 ETF every month for five years. Well, Graham shares the report of a financial research firm, a Boston Associates in his book, which shows that if you had invested $12,000 in S&P 500 at the beginning of September 1929, 10 years later, you would have had only 7,223 because of the bear market after 1929. On the other hand, if you had started with only $100 and invested that same amount consistently every month in S&P 500 for 10 years, your money would have grown to 15,571. Well, that's the power of dollar cost average. Here is a calculator with which you can play to see how it works. If you are a working professional, just enter SPY in stock symbol, which is an ETF that tracks S&P 500. Add an amount that you think you could have spared every month easily and set the time period to the day you started your first job till today. You will see yourself what I'm talking about. In my case, I started my first job in June 2015. If I would have been wise enough and have invested 1000 every month in S&P 500 consistently till today, then I would have been sitting on $90,000. I could never have imagined it when I first started in 2015. Well, play with this and you can see how dollar cost averaging would have performed for you. Well, now we understand the concept and power of dollar cost averaging. Let's come to the system. The system is based on the concept of dollar cost average and on the fact that Joe has no interest or time or aptitude to research companies and then invest. As per this system, Joe should invest a fixed amount, let's say $500, every month in just three ETFs. So $300 or 60% of his amount in the ETF that holds the total US market, $100 or 20% in the ETF that holds foreign stocks, and lastly, $100 or 20% in the ETF that holds the US bonds. By this, Joe ensures that he owns every investment on the planet that is worth owning. Having this autopilot system not only takes away the emotional characteristics that worked against you earlier, it also saved you a lot of time and energy which you would have wasted worrying about the stock market movements. Another advantage of this system for a defensive investor like Joe is, he left the heavy duty task of picking stocks with experts. So if there is a new company about which everyone is talking about, then sooner or later it will be added in that ETF if it's really worth it. Therefore, Joe will reap its benefit without even raising a finger. And finally, this system will change your mindset from guessing what will happen next to I don't know and I don't care. As Graham has mentioned in his book, if any of your friend asks you whether bonds will outperform stocks, you can simply answer them I don't know and I don't care as you are automatically buying both. If your neighbor asks you what's the next Apple, you can say I don't know and I don't care because as soon as a company is big enough to own, your ETF will have it and you will automatically benefit from it. Now I know many of you must be thinking if it would have been so simple that everyone would have been successful in stock market. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, it is simple. However, 
as most human beings, we never learn and we make the same mistakes again and again. It may be because of emotions or thrill we get while predicting the market or because we don't want to miss out that one and only golden opportunity. Moreover, I can bet even after watching this video, 90% of you will not follow this simple system. And I don't blame you. I was like you, trying to figure out next wave that will make me rich. Somehow, this basic human nature is one of the key factors that keeps stock markets so interesting. Well, till Joe does not have a system that he follows religiously, probability of Joe falling in the guessing game with Mr. Stock Market is really high. For the sake of completeness, these are the ETFs in which I will start investing my $500 every month from November 2020 till October 2025. Please note, if you are living in Europe, then it might be difficult for you to find US domicile ETFs. Well, I will not go into the details of why this is the case. However, if you decide to buy an ETF in Europe, then please make sure it's an UCITS ETF. UCITS ETFs have to follow certain rules laid down by European Union regulations to protect the general public from unsuitable investment vehicles. Also, if you want me to cover this in more detail, let me know in the comments. So coming back to the ETFs, here they are. $300 will go into the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund with ticker symbol VTI. It covers the whole US market. The other $100 will go to the Vanguard Total International Stock ETF with ticker symbol VXUS. It covers the international market excluding USA. If you cannot find these ETFs in Europe, then simply invest $400 in iShare Core MSCI World UCITS ETF with ticker symbol EUNL. It covers the stocks worth owning in the whole world. So as I am in Germany, I'll be investing in iShare MSCI World. And lastly, $100 or 20% will go in the Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF with ticker symbol BND or in iShares Treasury Bond UCITS ETF with ticker symbol IUSU.